Hi Floss Tube friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Rosanna with Nest of Petals for Floss Tube number 14. Today is April 16th and I'm welcoming you back to my channel where I share all things stitchy, quilting, um, knitting, embroidery, and tons more. So thank you for being here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys, love you mucho. And if you are new, welcome. I hope this is a place where I give you inspiration and you're loving what I am sharing. Um, if you guys could give me a thumbs up, that will show YouTube that you're loving what you're seeing and that you wanna to continue to see what I am sharing. Um, give me a comment, leave a heart in my comments. That will also help as well. So thank you guys again for all your love and your support, especially in my last video. Love seeing all the comments. It just brightens my day. So thank you, thank you. Um, today I'm gonna share what I've been working on for the last two weeks. I have a couple of new starts and we're just gonna kick it on off. Excuse Lulu <laughs> with her claw. She doesn't pick up her feet. So, sorry about that guys. So what I've been doing the last couple of weeks is I've just been stitching. I do have, I'm gonna look at my paper, one, two, I have two new starts and I have one stitch along. I shared it on my Instagram. You guys can follow me at Nest of Petals. I'll put the tag at the bottom. It's also in my description box, but I'm doing a stitch along with two beautiful friends. I will share who I'm doing that with and what the hashtag is. Would love for you guys to join in on that fun. Who doesn't love stitching with friends? I know I do, and I'm pretty sure you guys do as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, but let's go ahead and kick it off. So this one is an exclusive through hum, Homespun. I've shared with you guys this Facebook group. You're only able to get specific exclusives through this group. It's free to join. All you have to do is answer a couple of questions and Julie will get you guys into the group. But I love that they're, they provide this. So they recently started offering um, huge samplers before it was more like the smalls and smaller samplers or just designs in general. So this one is from one of my friends that I love. I love what they share needlework press and it's Charlotte Warrington 1838. This one is no longer available in the group if I remember. And when you're purchasing these through the group, Sorry, Lilu again. <laughs> um, but when you're purchasing these through the group, you buy them as kits. And there's different options that you can get when you're purchasing the, the kit. So like the different floss, the different linen, the different count on the linen or Ada, depending on what you prefer to stitch on. But I love... I love all the motifs, but my favorite is, look at all these beautiful farm animals at the bottom. They just have my heart. If you guys, if you've been watching and following me along for pretty much since day one, I've talked about um, having some farm animals in the future with my hubby and getting some more land. But I just, I love it. It's so, so pretty. So the linen that I chose, I did 40 count and I did Mason Linen Sewing Box Medium Light. I've never worked with the Mason Linens. I, I do like it. And I did go with my, my go-to, which is the DMC. I do have a small start and it's all, sorry guys, I have a trailing thread. I don't like cutting them off if I don't have to, but this is my little baby start and all of is doing like a stitch along through the Facebook group that started in March. And I believe it's for maybe three or four years that stitch along because the sampler is huge. It, for on a 40 count, it's 22 and a half by 23.3. But this is where I, I'm at so far. I really love the colors. These are the floss. The different floss that came with so very vibrant you know in the border and then more kind of muted um, 
colors within the inside. So I don't think I'll be able to keep up with this such a long, but I'm gonna try my best. I mean, I do have a lot of other things going on, but I, again, I would highly recommend if you guys are not in the Homespun Facebook group, again, I'll link it below in the description box for you guys to join. It's so much fun. You're able to share just what you're stitching on in general, but then you're able to get specific exclusive, just like the one I got from Needlework Press. So they always announce prior, like when new exclusives are coming out, and then you have like a certain time frame of when you're able to purchase those two. So totally up to you guys. The next one, so I shared with this, with this, you got bleh. <laughs> okay. I believe I shared this with you on my last video that I had gotten, I was, well, I hadn't gotten it yet. I was waiting for something to come from a new market release. So this is from Teresa Coger, it's Serenity. And I know this one, it has become very popular within the floss tube world. It's stunning. If you guys have not snagged to this one, I would recommend it. And I'm using 40 count, not another sampler. And again, excuse my trailing threads. I don't like cutting them off if I don't have to. And actually, let me show this to you again. I started in the left corner. And this is where I'm at so far. I've gotten a good, a good start. I can't complain. And I am doing mine on 40 count, not another sampler, be spy, be stitch me. And I'm doing one over two using DMC floss. And within this, she does have the conversion for DMC. So I didn't have to convert anything, but I do love the colors. They're very soft and it's just gonna be a beautiful, a beautiful one once it's complete, so. Serenity and my mom and I if you guys know my mom and I stitch a lot of things together we have very similar tastes uh, she is also stitching this one with me all right so American welcome is one that I started two weeks ago it's not a very big sampler it's Plum Street sampler and I've done all of here and I've started on the blue house. So let me share that with you guys. And here she is. And I am doing DMC floss one over two. Everything I am sharing with you guys is stitched one over two. And bear with me one second. And I'm actually using the same, no, it's not the same linen. I'm using um, Vanilla Latte, 40 count. And I'm pretty sure it's Zweigart. But I really, really love those colors. I think they're beautiful. So American welcome. All right. All right, so at the beginning of the video, I talked about doing a stitch along with two friends of mine from Instagram, Jordan from the Tattoo Stitcher. She's also on Floss Tube, and I'll link all of their information below. And then Rocio from Cocahamas underscore Stitchery. So we are doing Heartstring Samplery, the Scenic Sampler. And this is a new market release for this year. And I love that we're all doing different fabric, and me, Rocio and I are doing DMC. I believe she's doing all the called for. Jordan is not doing DMC. And she, I believe, if I remember, she switched up some of her colors on the threads, more on the flowers than anything. But make sure you guys check them out on Instagram and follow along on Floss Tube. I'm not sure if Rocio is still doing Floss Tube. I know she used to but check them out. So this is where, I'm actually right here, let me show you. I started on the left. Lately, I've been starting on the left corner. 
that's not, I don't have like a room reason why I start on the left. I pretty much just start anywhere, but that's where I've been starting out lately. And I am using DMC floss, but I am making some changes. So if you guys are interested in that, you know, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to share that with you and excuse my trailing threads. And I'm using the same fabric as American Welcome, which is 40 count vanilla latte. And I've made good progress. I started on this over the weekend and I'm just loving the colors. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but the darker green, that's 935 and then over here I'm doing 936 so I will be doing a variegated vine connection for the border which I'm really looking forward to seeing how this comes along and the stitch along that we're going to be using for the hashtag is scenic sampler SAL so I'll put the hashtag below also in details, if you guys have started this or want to join us, please tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see your progress. And again, who doesn't love stitching with friends? So really, really excited about that one. If you guys remember on my previous floss tube, which was floss tube 13, I believe, because we're on 14, I talked about three different items that I was stitching and which one you guys thought I could actually finish. So I believe I can finish this one out of the two that I'll be sharing with you. And this is from Needlework Press and it's M plus A 1853. And I am doing mine with DMC floss. They do have a conversion and I'm actually almost done. So I plan to get this one finished by end of month. And I am doing 40 count, picture this plus earthen. And this is where I am at. So if you guys can see, I'm finishing the birds, which is, I need to finish the birds and then like these two square motifs. I need to do the year and then the border and I will be done. So again, this is where I'm at. And it's very, very small. The size on this one for 40 count is six inch wide by 7.5 for the height. But the colors are just, they're beautiful. I love them so, so much. And it's pretty funny because the birds, as you can see, they're like a navy blue, kind of purplish a little, but more blue. And the over dyed cotton for the bird calls for weeks dye work navy. And then DMC is $7.95. But it's so weird because the birds on here are not even navy in any way, shape or form, so. I didn't want it to match. I'm just going with what it has and I still think it looks beautiful, but I thought that was interesting. So yeah, M plus A 1853, be on the lookout. I'm hoping to have this one finished by end of month. So stay tuned for that. All right, I picked this one up cause I was talking to my mom. I reached out to the attic because this one, GGR, which is Mary Griffith, 18, I think it's 78, 73. It's written in, I believe it's Welsh, the phrase, which I obviously am I'm not Welsh. I wouldn't understand that and wouldn't be able to like read it to anyone or read it when I'm passing it in my home. So I reached out to the attic and they actually have the English version of this uh, pattern. So I was able to get that from them. I received it, I believe, middle to end of last week. But prior to receiving it, I was speaking to my mom and she's like, well, just because you don't have it, doesn't mean you can't stitch it, which was so, so very true. 
and sorry about Lilu's little feeders again. <laughs> But since the last time I shared this with you guys, I've made a good amount of progress. And I actually wanna share something else with you too. I'm gonna to have to get the, the booklet. But since I last shared this with you guys, I was able to do this motif. I did this motif. I did January, 1873. And then I did this as well as this. So I think I made Pretty good progress. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I know every time I pick this one up, I cannot put it down. I stitched this one on for several hours for one day and got all those motifs accomplished. And bear with me one second because I'm going to grab something. All right, so when I first saw this pattern, this design, all right, when I first saw this motif, and you guys, let me know your thoughts. I first thought it was a rat, and I, I've heard multiple floss tubers think it's a rat. And if you look at the picture, it looks like a rat at first glance. So I was reading GGR's description and I'm gonna hold the picture up. So it says the upper section of the sampler is stitched with Welsh words and then it has that written out. And then at the bottom, it says the sampler features a central flower bower, which is this. with a girl standing inside, a red ear on her head and another on her hand. So she's holding and one's on her head. There is a seated cat on each side of the bower and a big colorful parrot above them. So I'm gonna reread that so you can see there's two animals on the sides of her, right? So it says, there is a seated cat on each side of the bower and then the parrots above them. So this is not a rat. This is not a cheetah, a leopard, whatever you might have thought that was. They are kitty cats. So I love that. She was very unique with her pattern and how she designed her kitties. But those are kitty cats. And I wanted to share that with you guys, just in case you hadn't re read the description on that. If you're wanting to get this pattern, but thought this was a rat and this might've been like a hyena or whatever it could have been, they are actual, actual kitty cats. So Mary Griffith and a GGR pattern that I love. And let me reshare where I am at with you guys. Again, love, love this one. And you guys know how much I love me, my GGR. So, Mary Griffith. The next one I'm gonna share with you guys, I was able to put some stitches into this, the color red, which is my donkey, my donkey sampler. And this is GGR as well. And if you guys remember, I told you I would be working this way. So I'm changing what I shared with you just a tad bit. And the reason why I'm changing it just a tad, because, I mean, you can see within the pattern, there's tons of alphabet, right? And I'm getting a little exhausted with just stitching alphabet. So I've, I'm changing my mind on what I wanna do. The linen I'm using, I got it from the Colorado Cross Stitcher. She's on Instagram, also has her own website, and it's Newcastle Linen 40 Count White. So, what I did on my Thursday, which is my stitching for red on Thursday, is I did this letter, I did this one, and then I did all of these over here. I didn't do the entire day, 
on this one, but I do feel like I accomplished a lot. And what my game plan is going to be is I'm gonna do, you can see I'm gonna do this motif and this motif and then work my way here and do the smaller alphabet. And then from there, I might start on the rows a little bit and then kind of go back and forth and go finish the B and the A. So I at least have the end of this sampler completed and then I can kind of work my way down. But I think I might go back and forth between motifs and the alphabet because I'm getting just a little, I wouldn't say bogged down, but a little tired of just stitching alphabet right now. So gonna spice it up a little and do some of those motifs. I'm still thinking I'm gonna wait on the donkey, but I, I might start it, maybe the outline. <laughs> so stay tuned on that, but let me reshare. Again, it's the color red from GGR, and I'm hoping you guys can see this. And it's 40 count Newcastle white. And I'm doing one over two, and the two colors I am using, so the brighter red is 817, and if you can tell, the darker over here is 498. And I'm kind of making it match. You can see the brighter and the darker, so anything that's bright is 817, and anything that is darker is the 498. So yeah. All right. Put this away. The next one I am sharing, and I am really excited with the progress that I am making, and it's from Stacy Nash, Mary Bars. Throwing stuff. All right, and I am doing this 36 count, and hand dyed espresso, and I am doing this with DMC floss and I am doing it in a variegated way. So you will see different variations of like a darker and a lighter color within each motif. So since I last saw you guys, I completed, where is it at? I completed this motif right here. I started on this one, it's almost complete. And then I started on this one below. And I was doing two strands a day on this. I'm trying to keep that up to my best ability. But Mary Griffith, and this is how wide she is. I'm hoping you guys can see that. But she is a stunner. I love her so, so much. And let me just bring her a little closer so you guys can see the variegated floss. So Mary Bars from Stacy Nash. All right. So this was a next one. The next one I'm gonna do was a homespun giveaway and I actually won that giveaway. I've, I've spoken about it many a times and it's from Needlework Press, Jane Bowen, 1837. This was one that I spoke to you guys on my last floss tube and asked if you thought maybe I could finish this by a month end. I'm gonna be focusing on M plus A and not this one as much, but I have made a good amount of progress. And this one, um, the call for thread is DMC, so that's what you will see. And I am doing 36 count vintage country mocha, one over two, and I'm stitching it on the non-model side. And since I last saw you guys, I did this entire, hold on, let me, let me fold this. I did this entire border. I did these two motifs and then I started the line and then this is a beehive right here. So that is what I've been doing. And I feel like I made a good amount of progress. And my goal on this one, if I can by month end, so what I just shared with you guys is 
these two flowers and then again I started this beehive so I have the line so if I could at least connect the line all the way and get everything from here up completed which I think is doable because I feel like when I'm on 36 count I stitch pretty quickly so if I could probably dedicate a full day to this I can I can see me finishing everything above so let me reshare so you can see like I just need to finish Adam and Eve and then again everything's duplicate from this side over and I got to do the tree trunk the tree trunk down I think it's doable we'll see if it happens you guys will get that update when I share this within the next two weeks or so but Jane Bowen I haven't seen anyone on Instagram finish this or really start it. If you guys are working on it, I would love to see pictures. Share away. I do have my email and information below. So let me know on that. And I have one more share and then we will wrap it up. So <laughs> last year I tried so hard to get this one complete, which is Stacy Nash Halloween at Hollyberry Farms one of my favorite and i'm not a big halloween person but i can definitely see me ha see me having this up during the halloween season and i'm doing mine on 40 count hand dye linen it's confederate gray by weeks dye work and what i've done on this one since i last shared it with you guys is i did fill-ins on the flowers so I was able to do where is it at this one and this one I started on that but didn't finish it and then I did these ones right here these fill-ins so I thought I'm going to share the whole view I hope you guys can see that I my plan is to fill in all of the flowers and do the house little by little because as you guys can see the house is enormous i mean it's huge and again this one's variegated as well i'm hoping you can see that i have a video on how i do variegated dmc floss on these patterns and i'll link it below for you guys it's a beautiful beautiful design i love it so so much Olivia has finished this at, um, she is at Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. I'll tag her below, but yeah, it's beautiful. So my goal again is to fill in the flowers and then work my way into the center and fill in the house as I can. So filling in the house is more of when I'm listening to like an audiobook, which I've been obsessing with lately. There's so many good reads on audiobook and I've been like non-stop listening to a book finishing it in a couple of days and then starting another one I'll ask my mom what's another good read if you guys have any good reads that you would recommend for audiobooks please let me know in comments I am so for a good read and I'm really obsessing right now with I believe her name's Kristen Hanna the author she has some terrific, terrific books. So check her out if you're not listening or even reading Kristen Hanna. I do love to read like an actual book book, but my go-to is audio. And the reason for that is I'm able to multitask. I can stitch or do any of my crafting hobbies that I love and listen to a good book at the same time. So it's so calming, it's relaxing something that I love, love to do. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I believe my next video that I will be recording will be on April 29th and I will be visiting Terry again from the Cross Stitch Station. So I hope you guys tune in on that one. And again, thank you so much for being here for all of your love, your support, your comments. Truly, truly appreciate you guys. If you are loving what you're seeing, please subscribe, give me a heart and comments and a thumbs ups as well. 
And yeah, I love you guys mucho. Happy stitching. Have a beautiful week and I will see you soon. Bye guys.